Okay, so get this. We've got this song right called Conspiracy Buffet. And it's like someone heard the phrase conspiracy theory and said, I'll take everything. You know? Yeah, I get you. Like a kid in a candy store, but for, well, conspiracies. Exactly. And our job today is to uh, to really dig into these lyrics, see what this buffet tells us about, well, conspiracy theories and maybe even you know ourselves a bit. Interesting. Oh, what strikes me right off the bat is, well, the whole buffet metaphor. I mean, it's brilliant, right? It's familiar, inviting, kind of says, hey, come on in, try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Right, like no pressure, just a taste of aliens and government cover-ups. Exactly. And I mean, he doesn't waste any time, does he? Verse one, bam, we've got aliens in the sky, chemtrails passing by, moon landing was a lie. It's like a, a greatest hits of conspiracy theories right there. <laughs> it's yeah. like a highlight reel, yeah. Classic, classic stuff. Yeah. But why these specific ones, right? Right, and that's what's interesting. I mean, these aren't just random theories he pulled out of a hat. They're like <laughs> they're like the gateway drugs, you know? Yeah. They suck you into this world where uh, where everything you thought you knew could be a lie. <laughs> okay, I like that. They're like the gateway to exactly you know, yeah. to the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole, yeah. And and they've been around forever. These theories. I mean, they're practically part of our cultural DNA at this point. And then boom, the chorus hits you. Right. Like. Conspiracy buffet, eat it every day. Question what they say, never fade away. It's practically an anthem, right? Oh, it totally is. And you know what it reminds me of? That uh, that feeling, that drive to always be questioning. Like, like you just have this inherent distrust of authority, of the official narrative. It's like that feeling when you were a kid and your parents told you something and you were like, yeah, but are you sure? Yeah, exactly. Or, or when, like... A magician does a trick and you know you know it's a trick but there's still that part of you that's like but what if what if it's real right exactly okay so we've all been there right what's that questioning things uh, even just for a second oh absolutely it's like it's human nature okay good it's not just me then all right so we're cruising through this song and then it's like we take a turn into like this deeper darker part of the buffet you know okay yeah i see what you mean like where it gets really interesting yeah where we get these lines like secret codes and signs hidden in design scaring government's decline look at all the lines and i'm thinking wait am i at the buffet or am i at a secret meeting it's like we've stumbled onto some secret code right yeah and and that's where you really get those classic conspiracy theory tropes like like the illuminati right secret societies pulling the strings controlling the world keeping the real truth hidden from everyone else right and, and then you've got pyramids and sand giants holding hands mysteries expand understand the grants like Whoa, are we talking about ancient aliens now? <laughs> Is Giorgio Tsoukalos about to pop out from behind the mashed potatoes? Well, you know, you can't have a conspiracy buffet without a little ancient aliens action, <laughs> right? But but it's more than just aliens. It's this idea that there's this this hidden knowledge out there, that, that we're only just scratching the surface of some grand cosmic truth. Right. And, and that's where it gets really tempting. Because then you've got lines like, sift through the clues, find what they choose, nothing yeah. to lose, just pay your dues. And it's like, wait, I just have to pay my dues. Like, sign up for this newsletter, and then I get all the secret knowledge. Well, who wouldn't want that? Right. And that's the allure. It's like a treasure hunt. And, and you get to be the one to crack the code, to uncover the truth. Uh -huh. It's exciting. It's empowering. And it makes you feel like you're in the know, which is, let's face it, a pretty good feeling. Totally. But, <laughs> but, and there's always a but. Always a but. Isn't there a point where this search for the truth, for these hidden patterns, can become, well, a little unhealthy? Oh, absolutely. There's a fine line between curiosity and, well, obsession, you know? And that's where you start to see the dangers. People get so caught up in connecting the dots and finding evidence to support their theories that they, they lose sight of well, reality. So like they end up in that echo chamber. Exactly. And it becomes almost impossible to break free because everything outside of that echo chamber just confirms their belief that, you know, they are trying to silence the truth. So, OK, we've reached the end of the buffet. We're stuffed with conspiracy theories. What's the message here? What's Kurt Holes really trying to say? You know, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And I don't think there's a simple answer. But for me, it all comes back to how we approach information. Are we consuming everything we see and hear without question? Or are we taking a step back, being critical, looking for evidence, considering different perspectives? Because the truth, well, it's probably somewhere in the middle of that buffet table. Hmm, wow. Makes you think. It does, doesn't it? Well, on that note, thanks for joining us for this deep dive into, uh, well, the conspiracy buffet. My pleasure. And until next time. 
keep questioning, keep exploring, but maybe uh, lay off the conspiracy buffet for a bit. It's a lot to digest.